G'day, welcome to session 35 of Oxygen Not Included. Uh, and we are just trucking away again here. Now, one thing I think I need to look at uh, is the reed. We got a little bit of reed somewhere at the top here. It does seem like getting a bit more of a sustainable build of reed would be worthwhile. And the other thing that was recommended that probably could be worthwhile is exploring a little bit more. I think that's what I'm trying to do in, in some of these builds, is just sort of tell a guy, just go dig this way, just see what you find. It seems like a lot of polluted water around that I could try and sort of start to work in here. If I'm, I'm starting to make more and more water, I possibly need to make a bigger reservoir for water. Um, but I don't really have a plan for what's going to happen with this and whether I just put a pump in here to move it elsewhere or if I just have a um, just a tap basically to pull water out of there I suppose this is still sort of sitting as my main water supply that they can get water from but it does seem like it wouldn't be a bad thing to have multiple points through the colony that they can get water out of obviously as well we're still working on making bedrooms but we are just waiting for the uh, Trekos to get a bit more scale growth. Okay. I would be interested to make a, a textile loom. So, you want to refine some more metal. Now, I don't know if that's sort of needing a bit more of a specific metal than what I'm making, because I'm currently making copper ore in a metal, but maybe it's it has something else in mind that it thinks I need to be doing, like, say, iron ore. I have 10 tons of iron ore, so let's get a bit of that mashed in as well. I do want to up the amount of algae that I've currently got too. I'm just getting a little bit low. A bit up here. So let's extend this ladder up. Get him to dig out that much. The algae up there, that's just polluted oxygen so there's no harm in digging them all the way up here. I also don't, I'm not sure if anyone can get out here at the moment. I've got rid of the mass checkpoint. Maybe I should just build a mask back in there. Might have jumped the gun on thinking I had suits ready to go. At least we have one person working out there while I figure out that mess. There was something else I was waiting on last episode. I don't remember what it was. I was trying to make refined metal to, to create. That's all right. But once I remember, we'll, uh, we can address it. Not too much I need in the, the daily reports, I suppose. And that summary will be fun to play at some point. That possibly gives me actually a pretty good idea of how far across the map I've spread. Because I'm certain I have hit the wall over here. And so that would suggest that this corner and that corner are where I haven't really explored too much. So it could be a new, fun new sort of destination to, to try and uh, head for. I can't believe it's been so long since I've had... Is that nine? Not really. 
really how that's reading. It's sort of saying just above seven. Duplicates. That work time has really slackened off a bit. Travel time, I guess, took a nice hit after we, we brought in the pole. Plenty of uh, plenty of stuff still to do. Yeah, so we just need to deliver a suit to that as well. So we're saying this way is where we haven't really looked. Is there a way we can sort of cut across? Let's just dig a, a tunnel across here, I reckon. Natural gas. Let's have a read about what Things can use natural grit gas at some point to make the most out of that. Travel time fifty four per cent. Oh, that's interesting, the, the sort of amount of percentage of the time between each individual task, massive. <clears throat> okay. So, someone is still working here, crushing away. Oh, something just got announced is available. There we go. Loom. So where can we put our new... So we can probably go down here. get that these guys aren't consuming this hydrogen so once this hydrogen reaches this point it's just going to shut off and this won't ever run again so what should I then be doing with the hydrogen that's probably the question from heat read fiber yeah okay so Let's go on the hunt for reed fiber again. Um, is there anything that I have vacant that I can sort of just have a look to see what I've got? I don't think I've currently got any reed fiber plants that I'm aware of. I know there was one that used to sit up the top here. Here. That reed seed. Let's pick that up. Won't want to um, relearn about what we need to do to, to have reed grow, and then get that building. This does seem like reed's going to become a pretty important thing as well.
that's okay, that has none. It's lacked resources for about a hundred days or so, I'd say. Right, how are we doing with this dig down here? Oh, we've done it. Powered straight through. Nice work, guys. Let's keep on going. Play in there. There's the algae we want. I wonder if I should start to look at getting some of these um, water populations and just flood this even more with water. If I'm starting to siphon water out of it, no harm in putting more in there. Just getting more water essentially in my. Uh, in my system. Certainly some, some interesting things that I haven't used at all at this point. Things that sort of like converting water into ice that I don't quite know why I need ice at this point yet. Telescope. That's the monument. It seems like um, I think that was one of the comments as well. As steel was something that I should be starting to look at, trying to get because it is part of those sort of real major objection objectives. I'm not sure if I've got much in the way of sick bays or disease clinics. It certainly come to bite me later on. I'm sure. Or at least it's impressive that it hasn't bit me yet, I guess. So plastic is what it's going to cost me to make some transit tubes. I know. Transit tube co crossing. Transit tube crossing. I can go through wall and floor tiles, or is this... That does seem like that'd be really fun. Try and get one of them built. Say, so have it running from about here. Let's have that plummet down. So that anyone working in these depths down here can just take the transit tube as opposed to working all that way. Well, there is some diamond right there. Maybe let's... Um... Dig a little bit more. Get down into that diamond. Assume that Ellie's going to be able to dig that up. Find out soon enough. This looks like this could be interesting to, to get down into. So let's build a ladder right down here. Dig out those four. Let's build a horizontal ladder across. Algae is still getting lower and lower. 
do want someone to go out and take care of this. So why is that not... Is there any objection there, or is that happy? It should be happy, right? Oh, we're still waiting for a mask to arrive, okay. Why has that not come? Should have a few masks around somewhere, I'm sure. In fact, there's one sitting on the ground right in front of it. Some of these things take longer than I expected, and like how long it takes to have one of these guys grow their scales back. Because they're getting the plastic in was a, was a really nice big win. Then such a long wait to uh, to get back to, to have another look go. So, and we can probably start building these rooms. So we can do the same thing that we've done for the other ones, where we just put a large sculptor block in the doorway, and then we'll put the bed behind it. really efficiently down here for how long a journey it is to get down there I'm quite impressed with that yeah rock crusher is still on and crushing rock so we've got plenty of iron ore and get through I don't quite know what the measurement difference is um, in terms of when that's saying 9 or what whatnot. Was it 50 iron? Okay. So if I wanted 800, I would have to do at least 16. I need pockets of algae in, in some of this, but what heaps. Busted into our first bio oil biome. I hope that means that we can actually bust into the well, it's just the biome itself, not actually into the the oil. <clears throat> I guess we're now collecting some diamond. Quite nice. Very cool. So I guess an end game thing that we eventually will need to get. It's nice to know that that one's not too hard. All you got to do is just sort of travel on the map far enough to, to get it. And then there it is. Two tons of it. Nice work, Ellie. And on to the next bit. She doesn't mess around. Like on a page like this, if it said refined metal 800, it would tell you like 400 of 800 or something so that I knew. I could only have to look at that to know how much of, of it that I had. Similar to like where I was looking at the read where it said I had 0 of 4 on one of the other pages. There we go, finally got the mask in there. And Ellie is onto that task as well. If there's a hole to be dug, Ellie is our girl. We have to that way. Oh, we got all that to dig up too.
algae is still plummeting at this point. Mm -mm. We really need to get on that a bit more seriously. Some up here. Let's just go dig out that. Clay. There's a fair bit around here, but you risk getting a lot of that, these waters sort of mixing together. This must be getting close though. 83%, 97, 43. Sun nymph egg. So is that algae right there or is that clay? That's algae, so let's Dig through that wall too. Get all of that. So I think what we could probably do is uh, dig through here. Then we can cut through and then have that go through into this section. I suppose Ellie's stranded doing that on her own as long as I've only got one in there, so let's rebuild the second one again. There's a lot down here too, but at the moment the closest point is here and I'm not sure I really want to dig deeper in my base. Um, of, of essentially a location that is within the, the confines of the base. Dig across this way. How are they doing down here? Slowly, slowly. Speed things up a little bit. She's still going in here. Let's have a read about. Uh, what we need to do for our um, oil. So it must be built at the top of the oil reservoir. That's going to sort of tell me that it has to be on top of an oil well, so maybe I have to build a well. No. Must be built overlapping an oil well. Overlapping oil well. Nope, I'll have to work out what that means, I suppose. Uh, but meanwhile, I think this thing's ready to go with another one. Oxy fern seed. Uh, copy that. There we go. So we've got enough smashed rock that we can make a transit tube access. Duplicants require access points to enter tubes, but not to exit them.
that costs plastic. I are that could be expensive. It's definitely not something I want to start burning. So hold on to your hats, friends, tube access, because certainly not going to start using my uh, my plastic on that just yet. Okay, let's have a look what we have here. Because in there I don't have... Um, my... What was I after? Uh, the reed. I feel like possibly I've got to build the reed elsewhere. I have a book. It's a wetlands plant used. Glass is made. Ding. Looted water. Doesn't really say what I planted in though, does it? Farm plot. Okay. Talk to me about a farm plot. Maybe I ask you about a farm plot. Okay. So this guy will take it. So what we want to do is then put our I guess all we need is just need the seed to be somewhere where they can just get, like, polluted water for it. And the interesting thing is that you can't actually get polluted water from anywhere in my base. There's no, um, what do you call it? Like, pump to get polluted water out of anywhere. But we can change that. So I put that in here. Just mean if the water level of that rose much more, it would be uh, difficult. But let's put it there. Again, this can just be our little test section. Let's just put a farming plot right next to it. Alright, since we've not been looking, we're up to five tons of algae, so that's good. So Ellie's been doing her thing. Side. Certainly. There's a lot of timber. That'll be good. Hopefully we're um doing the right thing with them. Okay, so with this guy, let's go. Oh, I've got 24 of them. <laughs> Alright, so we definitely don't have to be as skimp as what I'm being here.
All right, so let's have a look to see how we do with all of this. May as well keep it close to the polluted water. Where is the next closest polluted water? What are you about here? No pollution in here at all, which is good. I don't think I need to even worry about getting much more um, chlorine in there. I think the chlorine is sort of covering the, the area it needs to down there. And I only have so much little water moving through that complicated system that it seems like only um, clean water is ending up at the other side anyway. So I would say we can deconstruct him. A lot of water there. Eagerly look forward to seeing how how we go with our reed. Now we've got so much coming. I mean, I could even build more of it, really. Didn't realize I had so many seeds for it. pace ourselves though, we'll just let it go as it as it is. Alright, good, we can have another bed. Finally got enough plastic. This too. How are we doing down the bottom? We're almost there. The chlorine that's gotten so cold that it's liquefied. Slicksters really, feel these slicksters are really filling out the uh, the area. The guys have got to be careful of drowning, I think. All right, so I suppose that's my first, my big question for this part is where do I have to position the oil well in order for it to actually work. Um, and I know that I think someone mentioned about pressure a while ago. We're just going to be careful of that with the oil. Long walk to have to come back and do every time, Ellie. Salute you for it. It does feel like they are growing relatively quickly. 71%. I don't think I like them, if I recall correctly, so let me just reject everything there. Alright. So... This one down here... Who operates in this section down here? First person I see down here, have a comfy bed. No 
That one's going to come down. Oh, oh the two guys going to bed. Uh, who wants to live down there with these guys? We can probably say Rowan. This ones are assigned. It's good I can now see these ones are getting unassigned. What we'll do is we'll start to deconstruct the ones that aren't being used. Just so we sort of know what space we've got. Then we eagerly await uh, being able to make two more. All right, well, with that new day starting there, I think we'll call this one a session. Um, definitely feels like we, we started to move along a little at the end there. We're getting our read production starting to move. Uh, any questions or comments, feel free to chuck them below. But until next time, catch you later. See ya.